Hey folks, today on GeekSmart, we're doing another dash cam install. This time, another dual dash cam. This one from Vava. Well, welcome back to GeekSmart, and so another install set in in the future here coming up. Um, another dual dash cam. Now we've done some other dash cams in the past, um, and I'm looking forward to really sticking my teeth into this guy because um, every time you're uh, offered something new and different, is always interesting and wonderful. So the guys over at Vavo sent me this over to to set up or to test out and uh well i thought i'd definitely do an install video on it why not right so what i thought before we go upstairs and actually start installing and this one we're going to install on my uh 2019 toyota tacoma but let's take a peek at what's actually in the packaging kind of want to see what it looks like so yeah there we go and all the goodies that go with it so let me bring it in so we have the actual dash cam itself, which is a two-channel dash cam. One for is facing outside, one facing inside. Little display here. So a lot different than the the previous Vava dash cam that I've done before. Now this is 2K video quality, so it's going to be a little bit nicer than my other one that I've done before as well. In here, let's take a peek at the mount and such, and then the cables. So um, this is going to be your cables, and of course they're high up. They're standard origin. Uh, install tool same as the one as before nice long um usb mount now they still have looks like the gps chip here right in line with the cable so that's nice i like to see that that makes it easy we have i assume that's a suction cup mount Doo -doo -doo. yep so we have very similar to the old one yep basically might be the exact same one i wonder if i still have that one sitting around here somewhere um but it's magnetic in how it mounts boom so it just makes it quick and easy uh, if you need to pop it off it's just a magnetic mount yeah i like it okay fantastic we are going to be uh hanging from the the suction cup we're not going to be propping uh, up we're going to be propping down so that's something to keep in mind uh, let's see what's in this box here looks like this one of those buttons yep just uh uh, save button or let's see successfully pair uh, that's how to how to successfully pair it. but that's just going to be your save button right trigger event and then they do give you a usb adapter as well for your vehicle to power it now i always like hard wiring things if i can but um for a lot of these dash cams and i will say 90 percent 90 plus percent they all they're going to come with is uh, a plug like this now this does have a dual outlet so i am happy that i love you know that way i can have something for my smartphone or something like that to plug in as well they do give you some adhesive adhesive clips if you can't find somewhere to stash it at least you can adhesively clip it um so that's going to be there and then there looks like there's an adhesive um circle for the button as well if you want to stick that somewhere or if you just want to have it somewhere that's up to you so that's all the components um, they do give you an instruction book, I'm, I'm sure as well, something that I rarely ever follow, to be honest about it. Um, but yeah, there are going to be instructions here. Uh, shows you all the stuff it comes with. But that said, we're going to go upstairs. We're going to install this puppy in my truck. All right, first two steps aren't really about installing the camera. It's more about getting it ready to install. So we have the camera, and I actually have it stuck on its mount currently. Um, I have a 128 gig micro SD card I'm going to put into the camera. So um, you can see right here where the memory card goes, right next to where the USB goes in. Um, and so we're just going to pop that guy in there right now before we lose the memory card. And so now we are ready for that. Now we're going to go inside the dash and look like that. Uh, I'm going to take that little sticker off. We're going to go inside and we're going to see what what looks best and how I want it to hang um, and basically mount the camera itself where I want it then we'll start routing the power cable and it's that simple okay so if I'm sitting back 
where, the, where I want this to stick and sit. Um, actually, I'm kind of fine with it being right there. I might actually move my, my eye pass and put it up a little higher. Let me see if I do that. And, uh, no, I think actually having it a little bit lower because you have to worry about this camera that's going to be pointing towards you as well. Um, so we're going to want to make sure that we get all of the cabin, which is going to be right about there, I would say. Um, so I think that's where I'm going to put it. I'm going to clean the window real quick before I do it. Uh, so that way it sticks better. Well, the outside of the truck's pretty dirty yet, but the inside's better. So this has a suction cup on it that you basically click like that. You can kind of see that. You click it up and it sucks it in. Uh, but you want to stick this to the window as best you can first before you push that up. So we're going to put it... In. And that's it. Now, of course, I might have to clean that camera off a little bit, and I'm, there's still a plastic protector on the screen. We'll worry about that later. Um, and this moves a lot easier than I thought it would. Um, we'll see how that works here in the end. Now it's about getting the power cable around and down the A-pillar and down to where I can plug the darn thing in. So what we've done so far is I, I started by plugging the US, the mini uh, micro USB cable into the camera itself, and then basically connecting it to the back side of this there's a little clip then I ran it up the side of my uh, I guess lane departure camera that's right here um, and then I started tucking it into the headliner essentially now the GPS uh, signal guy I actually stuck it right into the corner over here because that's where I kind of want it kind of up out of the way and then I just tucked the extra cable kind of into the headliner so it kind of looped back around itself a little bit um, there's it's right there but it's not coming down it's jammed it, it, I, Kind of put it up there with the little crevice tool. Now I'm running the main portion of the USB cable down the A-pillar uh, and then I'm gonna I guess continue down from there and try to get it down hidden completely if I can because um, that's what I've done every single dash cam I've ever installed. So um, with that said um, I might actually come around this side and come down this side because coming down into the crack here kind of is a pain in the butt um, whereas if I go this way with it it's a lot easier to kind of wrap it into the, the rubber liner right here real quick and easy. So that's what I think I'm going to do is just kind of tuck it into this guy right here. Like that. Just bring it around to the rubber seal. And I'll show you this here in a second what it looks like. Um, actually, why don't we do that right now so you can understand what I'm doing. So hopefully this is a little bit, a little bit easier to see. Uh, so I came around. Excuse me, right here, that's from my headliner up there. And now, you can see where this rubber seal is, we can just run down that rubber seal real quick. I mean, it's real easy, you can do it with your finger. Um, and so you just wrap it down, and then I can get it into my, behind my glove box real quick and easy as well. Um, but that makes it a lot easier if you have to get to it. It's not gonna damage the cable, because it's in that rubber seal. Um, it's just, it's always been my, one of my favorite ways to do it. Um, especially because I've done one when I came around here, I actually damaged the wire after it uh, rubbed back and forth for as long as it did in a, in a kind of a pinch point, to be honest about it. Um, so this works better, in my opinion. So I'm going to route it, get it down there, and then we'll plug it in. So when I came down the rubber seal right here, that's where I can pop over. And now I'm behind uh, my glove box, and I can kind of tuck it in, actually zip tie it up behind here so it stays out of the way, bring it over, and then plug it into the, the DC outlet. So that's the easy part. So I came across there, and then you can, you can see over here, um, it's coming up there, and I actually used a couple adhesive clips right there that they came with. It worked really good. They um, they actually have they actually clip on to the cable, so that's kind of nice. And they're just adhesive, and it keeps it nice out of the way, so it doesn't get into the foot box and somebody trips on the cable and pulls it out. So I have it plugged in, but there's no power going to it yet because uh, that is switched power. Okay, let's see how she goes. Let's give her some power and see what happens. Da -da -da -da. So clicky clicky. All right. Looks like we can give it. We can set the date here. We're our 2020. Okay. To ensure driver work fine, please format TF card. Format card. Let's do check. So now it's formatting the card for us. I'm gonna take off this plastic. Yeah, here you can actually see me right in the top one corner. Um, of course. 
aligning where the camera goes is going to take some, I think, some time to really get used to. Let me, uh, there we go. And I didn't check the front camera. Nope, it doesn't have a protective thing on it. All right, so um, going uh, right, right out of the gate. The only thing I can say right now, so for sure, is I wish it was a little stiffer, I guess is maybe the best way to put it. Um, but I'm going to find out whether or not that makes any difference um, because once I have it aligned, if I notice it moving over time, that's going to be the big thing. And that's going to be more in the review, less in the setup because um, we are fully up and operational now. Um, looks like there's a there's a microphone button. There's a to this event recording. So that's event recording right now. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Um, so I guess that's what the first button is the little exclamation point. Uh, we have not paired this button yet, so we're going to pair that as well for part of the setup as well. But I did want to go into the um, let's see if there's any settings. I guess there's a button over there okay so that turns there's a button right over here underneath the inside camera and that'll adjust what you actually see if you don't want to see anything or if you want to see both cameras or just the outside camera looks like you can't do just the inside camera um, so yeah that is what it is long press for 5 to 30 seconds until beep for to successfully pair keep dash cam turned on okay so one We'll wait for a beep. Hey, there we go. We got a beep. So now, every time we hit this button, you can hear it actually doing that, making a point uh, to save whatever. So I have this button. There is, oh, there we goes again. There is, like I said before, there is an adhesive pad that comes with this. Uh, it looks like it is a uh, repositional kind of a jelly adhesive pad. And there we go again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stick this up on my dash for now. Um, that way I have it and I'm not going to lose it. And then uh, I know where it is, I guess. Kind of right here by my emergency button. Right there. Uh, not that you saw that. But there we go. That's that. The button is set up. Let's take a peek and to see if we can actually connect with the phone to it as well. So, actually, right now I have Vava dash cam. There it is right there. I can actually see it in my Wi-Fi. I don't know the password. Let's find out what that's going to be. So as you can see, I'm I'm connected. I'm connected to the Vava dash cam. Looks like it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hit join, and then we're we should be able to join the network. There we are. Then we'll have to open the app. So just like the instruction book, the Vava dash app we have right here. So we're going to hit open on this guy. Alright, inside the app, driving down the road, yep, 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 hit start, hit allow, let's connect dash cam, I'll allow while we're using the app, that's fine, connected, and now we have full view, we can take a picture, you can hear it doing its thing, we can go into, oh, let's go back to this, so we can actually go into the history, and actually look at some of this. Well, there's the, the photo I just took, actually, of me holding my phone up while we're doing this. Um, so, I mean, you can see everything like that. I'm going to go through this more in the full review when we when we do that. And we can actually go in here and actually change the password. You don't have to have that traditional just one two three four five six seven eight password. Loop recording time, you can change that from one minute. Uh, you can change the video resolution. You can do everything in here. I'm going to leave it as is. Um, I don't see anything in there that I need to change or want to change. So... Like I said, this is the setup. We are fully set up. We're connected to the app. We're connected to the, the camera's good to go. We have a, the button programmed. We are now good. So that is the setup of the Vava 2K dual, uh, dual channel dash game. So that's that. Fully installed, fully working, fully wired, ready to roll. So uh, I'm gonna put some time in and see how well I like it and see uh, what I like, what I don't like. There's always gonna be things that I don't like. Um, but so far, I mean, to be honest, Vava's first one that I, I, I uh, reviewed and went through, I did like that dash cam. It was actually nice. I really like that that uh, uh, magnetic mount, especially if you need to take it off uh, or get to the dash cam. It made it real easy. Specifically, you can unplug it, take the cam the camera down, pull the memory card out if you need to pull something out of it. it. makes it real quick and easy. You don't have to use the phone. You don't have to dingle around with it. You can just detach it real quick without taking the suction cup off. 
Because every time you use it, you take on and off those suction cups, it seems like they wear out. But if you have any questions for me, comment below. Head over to techgooch.com. You can actually reach me directly through there. Please comment below, share, like, give the, give the video a thumbs up, and uh, let your friends know about it. If you have any other future questions for me, let me know. Otherwise, I'll put the link for not only this product, but also the future uh, review video when that's finalized over on TechGooch. That link will be down in the description as well. So thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for sticking by to the end. And we'll catch you back here for a future video in a install tutorial setup, whatever you want to call it, right here on GeekSmart. See you soon.